Unemployment in general is the biggest problem in Europe, especially youth uh, unemployment. One of the biggest problems in Europe that we face is the skills mismatch. Many times you'll hear from private sector, there are jobs available, we just can't find the young people to do them. And then you'll hear from young people, well, I can't find a job, there's no jobs in the market. Europe is getting a bit old, and this is not only in terms of uh, uh, demographic evolution, also in terms of, uh, you know, the way the decision-making system uh, functions. There is a kind of sclerosis, I would say, in the way we function. Uh, we also do have some uh, very um, regrettable, uh, but unavoidable to some extent, uh, social and economic results uh, linked with the crisis. So um, if we want to overcome um, these problems of uh, getting older in the way we are thinking and not only uh, in our ages, we need to make sure that uh, 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 younger uh, people are at the forefront. Uh, we, we need to give them some space and we need to convince them that uh, uh, we don't consider them as, as uh, um, you know, as an audience uh, uh, to what we have, to, to what we do suggest, uh, we really ch are changing our way of thinking and we want them on board, we want their ideas, their solutions and we are ready to take them on board. What we learn at school and universities do not match the demand of the market. So that is why I said that you have to get some advice but also we are encouraging a cooperation between universities and businesses to um, bring the two worlds closer together and match their curricula and their programs to what is needed. I really like the idea, not just in the States, but around the world of apprenticeships, so that a young person will get a practical learning experience while they're still in school in the field that they want to be in. And then I think, you know, we have to also realize that maybe the idea of a four-year university is not going to be the answer for everybody, that some people will do two-year vocational training and they'll learn a new skill set, uh, maybe around technology, maybe not, but they'll be able to apply that right away in two years. And and that over the course of our professional lives, all of us, we're going to have to be re-educated throughout the course of that time. You know, we're not going to just be able to probably go to school once and have all the skills that we need. It's good for the young people to get some advice on what is on demand and what skills you need for those demands, so accordingly you make your um, decision. I think they should believe in themselves. I think, you know, they should take risks uh, to try things out. <laughs> Um, and really, you know, think about the fields that they're choosing and what they're learning, you know, and what do they see themselves doing with the things that they're learning. So be active in your own life. That's the best way to say it. Be active. You know, don't think that the decisions will be made for you. Make them yourself and be active in your own life. And uh, this has to be the first priority in the next European Parliament, the next uh, uh, mandate, uh, the next... Um, European Commission, uh, a priority for all European institutions.